So welcome back to the cardboard um, glasses and the donut tree tutorial. So last part from part three, we finished the cardboard glasses. We made the pot and we also made the base. So now all that's left is the plate, the simple plate, plus the donuts and the stamp. So let's go back to the previous file and we left where we left off from part four. That's right over here. So we made the glasses and we made the simple pot and we made the base. Go into render view mode. And you can see this is first luck. So we won't be spending too much time on the donut now. So now um, I, I probably do want to add some dirt on the surface on a later date to match the roofing textures on the plant pot. But for now, this would do without the dirt. So now let's shift, right click, and we just want to make a torus for the donut. And now let's go to the wrench, modifier, certify. Let's go to thickness. Adjust thickness up, up, up about this much. G. Shift Z to move around. And let's just scale this end to about this size. And that should work for now. So G and Z to grab it out a bit. And now all I did all I did was I found a similar texture within Chrome Google. So and I simply saved it. Save the texture. So let's go within Blender. Select the torus like you want to do it. Go to go to shadings. Select select a pre-made material. And just click the number button to make your own individual material. So let's cancel all these out. And now we can just replace the, the image texture and we can get the bumps that we need. So go back to Blender, go back to Chrome, drag in your image texture right here to write document, color to base color. We don't really need to, um we don't really, we don't really need to control the roughness right now. Let's decrease the roughness to about here. So have a bit of a more chalky look to it. Actually, no, let's increase it, the roughness a bit so it has more of a chalky look to it. There we go. So that's going to go into color ramp, which is going to bump. And now just duplicate the image texture, shift D to duplicate, and then color into factor. And now we have control the basement. Let's go back to layers, go to materials, go to settings, and settings. And now we just need to make sure displacement is defined by this by the displacement and the bump. If you were to look at this at the render view right now, render view right now, it would look hideous. So now let's quickly change that and then more like a donut look to it. So now let's go to UV editing with, with the donut selected and in edit mode right here at the top. Make sure it's in edit mode. Let's just select all of the surfaces and let's scale it down to about this size. And now let G to grab this and just chuck it over here. And now that's it work. And now this look, that works fine. So that patch looks alright. I think this looks alright for now. I'm just gonna move you from that far away. No one's gonna really matter. So it's not that big. So it's not that big of an issue. So let's gonna keep like keep it like that. Now we're probably gonna duplicate it a lot. So now let's go to lay layout layout mode. Change back to solid view mode. So shift click control P. Then keep transform. Drag it down a bit. G and Z. G then shift Z, and that was fine. Let's get it down a bit. And put it inside. So now let's go and make this stem. So now we just want to shift, right click. Put a 3D cursor over here, shift A, and we just want to add a single curve. I recommend it, but I recommend the path one. It's a lot easier to control. So let's go edit mode. R Z Z works. So let's go Z 90. Actually, let's go 270 on this one. So now just make sure to have the lines pointing towards this one. G to grab it up a bit. And now we can just select each individual points and just pull it out to the side a little. Hit O to to dis to disable the, the multi selections. And now just grab each of this pass a bit. Let's hit E. And just select the points a bit and drag to the side until you get something that looks organic. Yeah, I say this would do. 
Gee. Put it down a bit. Yeah, it looks alright. And now we can just have the so now we have this path over here, this curve, and now we can use this as reference for the object. So now let's make a cylinder. Shift A and then let's go and make a cylinder. Let's scale, shift Z so it doesn't move anywhere but the shift Z but the Z axis so it doesn't scale it in the Z axis. Scale S shift Z then scale against the Z axis to go upwards. G the Z and now let's go to the wrench tool and modifier a simple deform tool in curves and I will physically change the object because it's in deforms. Let's go object if, if the um I drop a tool and let's select the object. And just one thing to make sure of let's go tab and then control R and is that is have enough what is enough what is sees to go off to make the turns I need. So now let's do this again and make a Z and now you see following the curve. So let's go grab this a bit higher. Let's go S and then hit the Z button. Then we just grab it a bit higher. And that works fine for now. Let's go to X-ray mode. And I just want to select the path right in the middle over here. Hit tab, then edit mode. And let's select this point over here and click always oh, OS. Yeah, OS oh, to scale. And just get it up and scale in this a bit, a bit. So you when using curve to scale out the thickness, use Alt S. Hit tab to exit out of it. And now you get this nice curvy looking little thing. X-ray mode again. And I just want to select the path again. The path which is directing the thing. Directing this um, the stem right now. Let's go G and let's direct it more towards the top here to make it more smoothing and straight. Yeah, I think I just want to end the tutorial here. I am feeling absolutely exhausted, so yay for me. Let's go grab this, go down a bit more to cover up our mistakes because you can do that. <laughs> no, that's a terrible idea. Let's not do that. Um, let's hit S and then Z, and let's G and then Z, and that will just grab it upwards like that. And you always change the geometry of the cylinder by hitting tab and into edit mode. So yeah, the deform tool, pretty powerful stuff. The deform stuff, really powerful. You can deform the object to the So with the next part of the tutorial, we're going to be adding donuts around the stem. Um, introducing the liquify simulation to make the donut look drippy and sometimes melting off the stem like a sort of like creamy Christmas tree for sudden. Matching because Christmas, Christmas is just around the corner and it's going to be pretty soon for Christmas to be here. We will add the texture but then that, but because we're going to turn the donuts into more liquefied stuff um, and that's why texturing didn't matter all that much within this part. So thank you for watching and see you guys next time.